My name is Edward van Gils. And football is my life. When I was young, getting involved in crime stopped me from becoming a pro. But when I rediscovered my love for the game, it saved me. I spent my time traveling the world to show people the power of football. But not everyone can resist the temptation of fast money and a life of crime. Now I'm meeting up with football legends, former rulers of the streets who rose up from their neighborhoods to become kings on the world stage. We're heading into jail to see how the game can affect the lives of players on both sides of the bars. Many talented people end up making the wrong choices in life and paying the price. This is Veenhuizen Prison in the east of the Netherlands. About 250 people are locked up in here from all over the country. Some are inside for a few months for small crimes, but others are doing a life for multiple homicides. The prison teamed up with Dutch club FC Emmen to develop a program that helps the inmates to rehabilitate through football. Jan introduces me to Gerko, who set up this program. Gerko, this is Edward. Gerko, Edward. Welcome in the most beautiful prison of the Netherlands. Thank you, it is beautiful. Let's talk about football and reintegration, I think. Inside the prisons, are there talents? Yeah, yeah, well, we have great, great players. The man there, the guy in the red shirt, is a very good player. What I do is that I make the connections between all prisons in Holland and sport clubs, mostly uh, football clubs, to give people a new chance, a new start for a better future. And what do you want to achieve with this program? That uh, prisoners can start at a football club as a volunteer. Uh, when they function good, the club is looking for paid work in a network of the club, because a lot of football clubs have a business club or have sponsors who, will, uh, who are able and who are willing to give people a new chance. Great. How long have you guys been doing this? We're doing this now three and a half years, and on this moment we have 82 inmates who have now a paid job by the network of Football Club in Holland. Oh, wow. Jos, Jos can you tell something about the project here? Uh, yes, I can. Um... Hello, how are you doing, Jos? Hi, Jos. Hey, Jos. Ed, nice Edward. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm actually the coordinator of the foundation of FCM. Okay. And I spoke with Urko about uh, yeah, developing this project. And we saw the same project in, in, in London from Fulham. And we said to each other, we can do it much better than in, in London. <laughs> Just with... Uh, in which way? In which way? <laughs> in which way? <laughs> no, no, no. It's actually the same, but uh, we, we, we added just one more thing. We try to give a prisoner uh, a possibility to work. So that's the end goal. That's the, the end, end goal, goal, yeah, yeah for goal. sure. And you have already? Uh, yeah, we have already. Uh, Etor is a fantastic example of that. He was a prisoner and now he's working for FCM. He is doing the merchandise, so all the clothes they, they were. Okay. Uh, he's actually arranging that, so that's fantastic, I think. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Signore, come va? Come va? Tutto a posto? Italiano? Come va? Ma sei nato in Olanda? Sì, sì, Olanda. Tu a chi è italiano? Tu mamma? Il padre, padre. Il padre. Il padre. Sì. Oh, ma <laughs> ti ha insegnato bene. <laughs> so you had a second chance? Yes, yes, it's very good. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. You sometimes miss the lifestyle. You miss the money. You miss the money. You miss yeah? the money, but it's not a good life inside. Do you feel oh. that prison has done you good? Prison is for nobody good <laughs> because the, in the prison uh, nobody talks about uh, when I get out, I get a job, I work with a dad and did. It's all criminal things. Only talk about uh, you know making money and. But this is criminal university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, that's that's my uh, opinion for for this. But then what was it for you that changed your mind? Uh, yeah, the important thing is it's about my daughter, you know, I have a daughter, so, uh, yeah. Makes you think? Yeah. You are a good example that things can go different. Yeah, they give me a chance and uh, I took it. Yeah. And now it's, uh, yeah, we three years later. Now Still, your daughter uh, can be proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. Well, you can be proud of yourself. We are all proud of you, so that's nice. If you look at these guys, uh, there's a couple of guys that are uh, super talented. How do you feel about all that wasted talent? Yeah, I feel sad about it. Yeah. So, uh, do you think they, there's a moment for them they get a second chance also at the club? 
Yeah, I hope so. If they do their best, they, uh, of course, we, everybody can uh, deserve a second chance. And these boys are, are, are doing good, so uh, yeah.